and the crowd know what's going on. Watch that clock. The world record, 720.67, is going to be smashed here by the Norwegian. It's a world record yet again for Jakob Ingebrigtsen. That's the Jakob Ingebrigtsen. So is that even surprising? Well, okay. Given his varying results in Paris, it would appear all bets are off. But not really. It's confusing, all right. The bottom line is that Ingebrigtsen has proven time and time again what he is capable of, and that he's no stranger to losing. But that's just the thing, though. He learns from his mistakes quickly and makes sure not to make them again. Best example, the 2024 Paris Olympics. He first competed in the men's 1,500 meter. Unsurprisingly, he was among the world-class athletes competing for the gold. Unfortunately, and this was a surprise, he wasn't even among the podium finishers. Jakob Ingebrigtsen admitted that he hit the wall and got his timing wrong after suffering a shock upset in a thrilling 1,500 meter final at the Olympics. It is no secret that the race was billed as a battle between two great rivals, the Norwegian and Britain's Josh Kerr. The two have notably been embroiled in a war of words ever since the Briton claimed gold at the World Championships last year. But as Kerr snatched the lead on the home straight in the Paris 2024 final, American Cole Hawker pounced with a perfectly timed kick to win gold in an Olympic record time. And with USA teammate Jared Nuguse coming home strong to win bronze, Ingebrigtsen was left with the strange feeling of no medal at all cursing the damage done in the first 200 meter. I opened with a 54 second lap, Ingebrigtsen pointed out. That wasn't the plan at all. And that's all it took to lose a medal in the event. My plan was to win, but it didn't go according to plan, he added. So he took the loss and directed all his energy toward winning his next race, the men's 5,000 meter. On the same day that he lost in the 1,500 meter, he ran in heat two of his next race. Again, it is no surprise that he won and had a chance to compete in the final. Add the fact that he had the fastest time in all heats makes it even sweeter. The Norwegian superstar raced to a maiden Olympic 5, 000 meter gold medal at Paris 2024. The double world champion over the distance made up for his hiccup in the one 500 meter in the French capital where he finished in fourth place after a dramatic sprint for the line. Inga Brigston was in cruise control over the final stretch of the 5 0, 0, 0 meter, beating nearest rival Ronald Quemoy of Kenya by nearly two seconds with a time of 13 minutes, 13.66 seconds. Unlike the 1,500 meter final, the 23-year-old took a measured approach in the final as he sat back around fifth place at the halfway point. He then took the lead for the first time with half a lap to go and turned on the afterburners to race home to add the Olympic gold to his two world titles in the event. As he wrote in an Instagram post, leaving Paris empty-handed was never an option. And that's not the end of it. Remember how America's Cole Hawker won gold in the 1,500 meter in Paris? Well, Jakob made sure to outrun the new Olympic champion, but this time in Switzerland. Yes, you heard that right. Jakob Ingebrigtsen blew away Hawker with a dominant performance at the Diamond League meeting in Lausanne. He sprinted to an emphatic victory at Stade Olympique de la Pontaise in 3 minutes, 27.83 seconds. Ingebrigtsen flying down the home straight. There's others chasing down for the lesser places, but watch the clock. It's about 3.28. In fact, it's an amazing record, 27.83. It's been almost two weeks since Paris, so there was plenty of time to recover, Ingebrigtsen said. For me, a lot of it has been mental, including going home, taking some easy days, and then getting back to work. He also added that race gave him good answers. I'm looking forward to building on this for the rest of the season. And that's exactly what he did. Not even a week had passed, not even five working days really, and the Norwegian champ was once again exuding his dominance on the track. His next stop, the Silesia Diamond League. Indeed, just double checking that time, he's broken it by over three seconds. What else could he have broken if not a world record, right? Because that's exactly what happened. The middle distance superstar set the track alight 
as he stormed into the history books with a world record in the men's 3 0 0 0 meter. Yep, Inga Brigson chopped nearly four seconds off the previous mark, Kenya's Daniel Coleman set back in 1996. You heard that. He just broke a 28-year world record. Mind you, it is the longest standing world record in an individual men's track event. How amazing is that? Fresh off an Olympic win and a much recent win in Lausanne. At the Silesian Stadium in Chorzow, the 23-year-old Norwegian took the record into uncharted territory, churning out the last two laps in 57.46 and 55.47 respectively. 152, 93 for the last 800 meters, to break away from Ethiopia's Berihu Aragawi and take a significant chunk of 3.12 seconds off Komen's enduring record. Watch that clock, the world record, 720.67, is gonna be smashed here by the Norwegian. It's a world record yet again for Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Well, it was on the cards after that world record last year in Paris over two miles. It feels special, amazing. I was hoping to challenge the world record here, but based on my training, I can never predict exactly what kind of time I am capable of. I would not have imagined I could run 717 though, said Inga Brixen, who was aided to the world records by two pacemakers, Peter Sisk and Vincent Tiate. At the beginning, the pace felt really fast, but then I started to feel my way into the race and found a good rhythm. The 3000 meter is a tough distance. After four and five laps, you feel the lactic acid, but you need to get going. He also pointed out that the conditions were difficult with the heat, but that it was the same for everyone. I have a good team. We use ice vests, we make sure I stay hydrated, and I am prepared," he added. You couldn't have imagined that he had slight misgivings about the race. Well, specifically the weather conditions in the city. In a press conference prior to the Silesia Diamond League kickoff, Inga Brixen revealed his only flaw. For Inga Brixen, the hot weather in Silesia could have an impact on his performance. Speaking about his experience with the track and the weather, he said, As I said, it's a very fast track. Last year was also quite hot, but if it's a little bit uncomfortable in the warm-up, if you are able to run fast, then of course it's worth it. So, you know, I am looking forward to it. Although weather can be a hurdle, the Norwegian speedster had been ready to give his 100%. And he did. Basically, his run in Poland, which adds to his 2000 meter and indoor one, 500 meter world records, reaffirmed his supremacy in middle distance events. And he's not even close to being done making his mark. In an Instagram post soon after the race, Jakob captioned a series of pictures of himself with, making history, what it's all about, three down, seven to go, what's next? What's that about, you may ask? Well, Inga Brixen intends to break world records in every relevant distance, from the 1,500 meter to the marathon. Obviously, the 23-year-old Norwegian now holds three of them. Actually, officially, Jakob holds three world records and one world best, the world's best designation, for his two-mile performance of 7 minutes 54.10 seconds, indicates that the distance is not recognized by world athletics. The Diamond League final in Brussels in mid-September will mark the end of the 2024 track season, with the 3,000-meter world record, the 5,000-meter Olympic gold, and several Diamond League circuit wins to his name. Jakob could end his season now, and fans wouldn't even question his early exit. He is, after all, already preparing for his two next Olympic gold medals in LA 2028. At least that's what he said in an Instagram post. Watch this to see if other athletes are having a blast post-Olympics too.